The Pagan Book Book of Days by Nigel Panick. So this was really like the edition that I had a look at while at in another city's library. It was 2001 because there's a, an appendix chart at the back for um, 2001 to 2008 where it's like movable dates like the equinoxes and solstice and like you got faces of the moon and yeah and sorry and then in, in the introduction you got an intro about like the calendar days of the week no notable days, faces of the, of the moon, and other information, and this information is pretty basic. And the book does start in January, so it goes from January to December, and it every single date, so 365 days of the year, are put into this book. And not every date will have something mentioned in it, it'll just would we'll just have the date like. Who would have date if nothing was there and moved on to the next. It didn't take away any dates if it didn't have anything. So, and there are a few images that goes along with the dates and the things or like deities it talks about. So, like 8th of January, a day sacred to just a Justicia, Roman goddess of justice, and there's a little image. And 13th of January, it talks about Wazeline, and there's a rune there. So, not every date would have like an image attached to what is being referenced. And for each date, a lot of the times you don't get more than a sentence. Like the G January 8th one I just mentioned. So, yeah, there are a few dates where you are going to get a few sentences. Uh, Halloween, like Samhain, you're getting a little more information. But you're not getting, like, pages of information about a certain date and only, like, one or two things for another date. For every single day of the year, you all are getting like less than like 10 sentences, 1 to 10 sentences depending on the day. So there is that and at the beginning of each month, like January, February, you are getting like 2-3 pages or so of information that is specific to the month. So January has information, February information, so specific information about the month. So it's very, very quick. It's very like few, like very little information. So for each date and if there is anything, but very few not a lot of dates are left are blank so there is that so and as i said there is appendix and it being like 10 years as of filming this like 10 years past the final year that is being talked about appendix isn't really worth anything to look at unless you want to look back during those seven years so, the first publication was in 1992 and then the 2001 edition that I looked at. So it's possible, I am i don't know if I'm going to remember to check if there was another republication of this. So, but there was that. It is under 150 pages. So, because it is not that very detailed. The most detail you'll get is the information regarding the months. And 
like to me you don't have to be under one specific pagan faith to have a look at this book but if you are a person who wants to incorporate different thing like different things according to the day into it into daily life or spell or ritual this book would be of some use for whoever <laughs> it's just the appendixes that may not be as relevant but yeah it's worth having a look if you want to have if you want to do a celebration or something <laughs> for a specific day or whatever or if you like a certain month or whatever and want to do stuff so the pagan book of days by nigel nigel panic happy readings